You might have spotted this strange panda man in the background of a video about wild pandas. When someone needs to care for one of these wild pandas, they wear these strange panda coats. What are they for? In fact, these panda men don't just wear panda camouflage, they also smear on themselves some feces and urine from panda mothers. This helps cover up their human odor, helping to stop the panda cubs being trained in the wild from bonding with people. This is the panda's training ground at Tian Tai Mountain. It covers an area of about one square kilometer and is 2,450 to 3,100 meters above sea level. It is an ideal location for panda men to train giant pandas to survive in the wild. Two female giant pandas, Chin Xin and Little Walnut, are learning the skills they need to survive in the wild. Before they are released from care, they need to learn how to live in the natural environment. After the wildness training, the panda men carry the pandas from the training ground to the foot of the mountain for a physical checkup. After experts have confirmed that they're developing well and that they're healthy, it's time for Chin Shin and Little Walnut to be released. That day arrived on December the 27th, 2018. When their crate opened, the two female giant pandas raced into the forest to start their life in the wild. This was the beginning of their gradual integration into the wild giant panda population. And it's an important moment for the panda men to see how well their students thrive in nature. <laughs> 